Okay, so what's going on here is um, John is going to set the machine up and he's going to uh, run production. So we're going to do a couple of multipores. So John here, our operator, is going to demonstrate how we've prepared this file. Uh, so the fabric's been printed with uh, registration marks on one of the MTEX fabric printers that we've got here at the show today. And then displayed on the screen is the, uh, the cut profile here of the layout that they used to generate those, uh, that print image. So that's a PDF file that's been opened up in this software here. You can see in the corners we've got registration marks which the camera's going to pick up, and then the rectangle um, gives the area that the laser's going to use to cut. So what's gonna happen is the camera's gonna come down and the machine's gonna be moved now to the first registration mark. So normally, this would be done and the machine would know where the first registration mark is, but in this case, uh, because the fabric's in the middle of the table, what he's doing is he's moving the machine using the computer and on the screen is shown that registration mark and now the camera picks up that registration mark. You know when the registration mark is grabbed because a green circle gets located around that registration mark. So once he's done that, now the computer takes over and uh, what we should see is that the rest of the registration marks are grabbed automatically. So the machine is going point to point, storing the location of each registration mark. Once it's got the location of all the registration marks, it uses that information to locate the rectangles in the correct position uh, for where the fabric's been printed. So this technique allows us to cut distorted shapes or fabric that's been printed and then laid out on a 3.2 meter roll, you often have to compensate for bend and skew as the uh, roll has been um, uh, distorted when the heat is applied for the dye sublimation. So now what you can see is the lasers running and what you'll see is that there's a cut profile being generated and the parts are being neatly cut into exactly the right rectangular shape based on the location of those registration marks. So this machine that we've got here is 3.2 meters wide and 3.2 meters long. So that's used mostly because of the American format of 10 feet, which can be used for several materials. So the laser is a 100 watt laser. It's capable of cutting all the textile material at speeds of around about 800 millimeters per second. The machine is also capable of cutting rigid material both with the laser and with the knife and routing tool. On completion of the rectangles, the machine will automatically advance and will load the next job. So now what's going to happen is the gripper bars are going to go down. So the cut parts come out very cleanly. 